Corporation tax, how does it work? If you're wondering this, you've come to the right place, so check out the rest of this video. Corporation tax, you probably pay it, but you don't actually know a lot about it. If this is you, you're not alone. This is 99% of small business owners, property investors, and entrepreneurs. Great news is, in this video, I'm gonna give you the key information you need to know to fully understand corporation tax and learn how you can pay less of it. So the first thing to mention is corporation tax. You know, who does it apply to? Well, the short answer here is limited companies. So if you're a limited company that's registered in the UK, the chances are, any profits you make are chargeable to UK corporation tax. The rates of corporation tax, well, it used to be straightforward in that you would pay 19% on all of your profits. So if you earn £100,000, you would pay um, £19,000 on that. Um, if you pay a, if you made a pound in profit, you'd have, you'd have 19 pence to pay. However, what's actually happened is um, the tax rates have changed whether due to coming to force on April 2023, and the end result is it's going to be a couple of different bands available. So companies with profits, it's this, the, um, the way they're going to be taxed is tiered. So we'll start with a smaller profit. So if your profits are under £50,000, then you still get the 19% tax rate. However, on profits between £50,000 and £250,000, you basically get a marginal tax rate. And the end result there is you actually pay a whopping 26.5% corporation tax. And on profits over £250,000, it's actually that 25%. So it's going to be a mix of mix of rates. So if you have profits of half a million, you would be taxed in all of those different um, different bands. So you have your first 50,000, then the 200,000 after that, and then everything over the 250. So it would be um, there'd be a lot of different tax rates involved, and it wouldn't be quite as easy to work out your tax liability. But just touching on all of those the small profits thresholds, basically the 19%, the £50,000, if you do have more than one limited company, this band is divided by all of the different companies that are under your control. That's just a point to mention. So we've established who pays corporation tax and you know, what is corporation tax, what is actually charged. And then what we're going to run through now is now, how does it actually work? So if you've got a business and you've got expenses, how does the corporation tax work around that? So broadly for most people, you know, you make sales, you might have earned £100,000 in a year, but you've also paid yourself a salary, which is a tax deductible expense. And what tax deductible means is it's going to come off of your, so your turnover, you're going to get an allowable deduction for it, which means when we come to actually looking at how, or the profit figure that you pay tax on, that figure is deducted from it. So the £100,000, if you had £40,000 worth of allowable expenses, but say you had £10,000 worth of business entertaining, which is specifically disallowable as an expense, what would happen there is, so it's, it's, usually in your account, you might be showing actually you've got profit of 50,000 pound, right? So 100,000 pound, less to 40,000 of allowable, less to 10,000 of business entertaining, 50,000 pounds, 19% you know, of that, that's what you pay tax on. But for tax purposes, because that 10,000 pound isn't allowable for tax, you actually pay it on 100,000, less your allowable costs of 40, so actually pay on that £60,000. So this is why you want to focus on what expenses are allowable because these will actually reduce your taxable profits and as a result you'll pay less tax. That's how it works with the accounts and the trading profit side of it but a lot of you kind of spend a lot of money on assets, plant, machinery, even mobile phones, laptops. How do they come into it? So a lot of you are probably aware that you probably get something called the AIA or you get capital allowances and these are basically the tax way of giving you some, giving you a tax write-off for the money you'll spend on plant and machinery which should grow your business. So typically most companies will get the AIA, the Annual Investment Allowance, and this means you get 100% tax relief on the cost of that asset in the year you purchase it. So in, in that same example, at the minute we've got £100,000 worth of profits, we've got £40,000 worth of allowable expenses, the tent we've had to um, disallow, so we've got £60,000 of profit, which is potentially going to be taxed uh, some of it at 19% and then 10,000 that goes into the 26.5% band at that rate. However, what we've also done is actually, um, here you, you don't want to be paying tax, tax at 26.5%. You've got some assets that you want to purchase. You want to reinvest and grow the business. So you've spoken to your accountant and there's actually 
what we could potentially do is look at either getting a brand new electric vehicle for you, you wanted that Porsche taken, we could put that through as an allowable expense and get first year allowances on that. Or if you are looking at purchasing a brand new printing press or whatever kind of machinery it might be, new laptops for everybody, if we can put through £20,000 worth of new purchases and claim the annual investment allowance on it, what you'd actually do is that full £20,000 you could spend would come off of your taxable profits. So you're now only going to be paying tax on £40,000. So that's where it can get a little bit confusing because you've got your profits in your company, actual limited company accounts, you go to company's house, are probably showing £50,000 profit, but then you've got your tax return showing £40,000 with the capital allowances or £60,000 after you disallowed the business entertaining. So there are a lot of different numbers being thrown about. But in a nutshell, kind of as quickly as we can explain it, that is how UK corporation tax works. That's the key information you need to know. So when it comes to doing your tax return, this is due 12 months after your company's year end. So if your year end is 31st of December, it's due 12 months following, but your tax payments are probably due nine months and one day after your year end, so October. So that's something to bear in mind, but of course you wanna get your tax return done as soon as possible so you know exactly how much tax you've got to pay and can actually budget for it. So that was a quick and easy one. Everything you need to know about corporation tax um, in as quick as possible. Hope you found this video useful. Please do give it a big thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button. Bye for now.